Hello and good morning. Welcome to Creating the Mind Space. I am, um, or we, I should say, have been working on this little tiny journal. Well, it's not tiny, but this little journal. I love you because, and in the previous videos, we made the cover and we stitched in the signatures. I have made another one, a large one, which will be going into my shop too. And this one is finished. It's got this lovely dangle. And then here's the pages, lots of blank pages to write on. So I will um, show you how to do that. So here is the lucky journal and do you know I was looking for a dangle to go on it and I had my collection of vintage, uh, of dangles I've made from vintage beads and boho beads and I couldn't find, that was the smallest one I could find and then lo and behold this morning just on my table was this one and this one was perfect, uh, this one I thought was too long so sun does shine on the righteous even though it's absolutely pouring down outside look at that exactly the right length as well i do have a shop be divine vintage um where these dangles and things are available so i'll put a link to it that looks great on there i love that it's off a, pen, a vintage pendant right shall we get ahead and not ahead, get it started and decorate this journal. I have sort of been through and picked all the things out that I'd like to put in uh, just to save time really. So let's start off with our I Love You Because. So I've actually printed this, printed all these things onto tea stained fabric. Um, I will put a link to the video I have on printing on tea stained fabric so that you can see how I've done it. But I'm really pleased, really pleased with the outcomes. Let's get started without further ado. So what I did is I picked some vintage lace and I'm going to put that on the vintage lace. So let's cut the lace. My desk is a bit untidy today because I'm trying to finish off all these projects. In fact, we'll cut this first. Today. Oh, that's my dog. What's the matter? What's the matter? You sit nicely there. I've got an elderly dog and she's a bit frightened because of the rain this morning it's been quite noisy and it's scared her i do like this torn look that's why i'm just tearing tearing it she's elderly she's got the shakes she's suffers from high blood pressure and she's completely nervous in her old age just sat under my desk here. Just want to tear today. This it is one that frays easy, though. She says, as it doesn't fray. There we go. Right, so that is that. I cut a piece off about there. So I didn't say in my last videos purely because I forgot got one of the worst memories known to man but I got this from idea from Natasha at Vintage Treasure Books I was inspired by her um, she made some little tiny journals just make this one a bit smaller and so thank you Natasha thought it was such a great idea uh, because this can be used for so many things. 
but journaling has always got a big part to play in healing. So I've got my fabric tack. Yeah. Journaling is so important. Um, I did mention, um, I think on the, one of the last videos, I will link them below, the old process for making this one, this journal, that I did a lot of writing when I had breast cancer. But what I did, my choice at the end of that is I read back on everything, saw how far I'd come and then I burnt actually burnt everything and it was for me it was that was letting go of the cancer I was just letting it go some people um obviously this isn't designed to burn and throw away but obviously if you wanted to that would be your choice but writing your feelings down particularly around sad times is so important to help uh, relieve you of those feelings. It's also great as an affirmation book. So if you've got a low self-esteem for whatever reason, at some point in your life, you know, why do you love yourself? And write those reasons down. Um, and any anything that you, that you get that you think, wow, that's made me feel really important. Put it in your book. I love you because you're beautiful. Because you're funny. I love you because you're kind. I love you because you're great, courageous. There's so many reasons why you should love yourself. And you can put all those reasons in your book. You could also make your book for somebody. Um give to somebody as an I love you because and all the reasons why you love them I'll carry on with that conversation shortly I'm going to put this let's do the little stamp first so I'm putting the little stamp there let's fold it it's an Italian stamp and it actually these came from Italy and they are um, a beautiful picture little picture of love there and it says for everything at the bottom oh that's nice I love you because of everything that you do so many reasons isn't there to love to love yourself or to love somebody else so I'm just using some ink here and I'm just going to I've just moved it to the corner of my board and then thought you may not be able to see. Yeah, inking up like this just gives distress and edge to a piece. All you need to do, you don't need one of these, you can just use a makeup sponge and do that. Shouldn't do it on my fingers. Just use a little baby wipe. I'm just clean that. I'm on a mission this week to finish some of my unfinished projects. Because I've seen to be building, building up. So I'm going to love myself this week. I love you because you have finished your unfinished projects. Because I am not a complete finisher. I am a or I've nearly finished, I'll start something new kind of person. So this, I'm just going to stick on here. After putting the glue on. And that, it's like, it's a page tab for me. Doesn't that look good? Right, so here, I'm going to use this old Basildon Bond. Remember Basildon Bond? I'm going to use that as a spot to tuck that into so I'm going to do the same with this in that I'm going to put some dye on it ink ink up around the edge it's not quite folded properly as you 
can see the bit sticking out, but that helps to make it interesting. Right, let's just go over it a little bit. Right. I'm just going to ink the back. Not ink the back, glue the back, just using a good old prep stick. So one of the other things you can use this is as a memory book. So when you lose somebody that you loved, it could be through, um, the obvious one is through death, but it all. So um, if a relationship splits up for whatever reason. I had a relationship once that split up and I love that person so much, you know, and although it was a, such a long time ago, because it was a special love, then it still plays a part in your life. See, I could have put that in the middle there and slid the card through there, but actually I need to glue the bottom because I'm going to use it like a pocket. Yeah, so I had a love and didn't work out. So at that time, I think maybe something like this would have might have helped me. But for loss through death, I think uh, memory books, memory things are so important. You know, you could put in pieces of clothing, letters. Mind you, there's not many letters around these days. Just little objects to store, tickets, places that you've been together. So that, so that is plain for writing on the back there. I'm just going to pop that. I'm not going to push it all the way down because I don't want it to get glued. I'm just going to pop that there. I think that looks looks fab. Right. What else have I put in? So I made here, um, I cut off the bottom of the bag, so this was, as you can imagine this is the bag, that was part of the bag, it was there, so I cut it off, I quite like that because that makes something interesting in itself, I've got a plan for that for another, another time, another day, so this, you've got a little, um, pocket there to put things in. Just slide in some tickets or something. In fact, let's put a little stamp on there. Let's stamp as we go along. Just pop a little, ooh, just pop a little butterfly on. That's pretty. I want to put butterfly on there. I'm leaving these plain because ultimately they are for you to decorate. In fact, let's put some bits and pieces in there already. So here's some um, vintage style. I couldn't think of the word ephemera. It's not vintage, but it's vintage style. So those are things you might want to write on and glue in. Or things you might want to write on but keep privately. Let's pop them in there. And let's put some tags in as well. Those are in there. And with it having the, the light joined down the middle, those things are all securely in there. Let's have a look here. So I've got some words, Tim Holtz ideology um, let's put that on everyday words there we go everyday words so you see it's just even with just that stamp and the words it just something is beginning to happen on that 
so here I've got this um, on this page I have oops hold on so I've got this envelope that I'd previously made so it's in moustache it's got a Victorian calling card inside and it's a shaker envelope sequins and inside it is some paper to write on it's very fine it's airmail paper so it's very fine that's there and i'm just gonna pop that in there it looks pretty so i've got a rusted paper clip and some organza ribbon i'm just gonna pop that through and just tie it you can bob some glue on there if you want to do at that point where you have tied it but i think it holds firmly enough and that just makes a pretty paper clip you don't need to use a rusted one you can just use an ordinary one any clip any clip will do you can just pop that there i think i will put a little bit more stamping so i've got this mandela let's just do that let's just pop a piece of paper underneath there and then forgotten where I've inked it now just put something on the corner there we go so here we've got a little tag looking for where that should go should have a little space to slip, slot into. Okay, we'll put it in here. Um, it's got a little envelope there, so let's put something in. We'll put in a piece of um, ephemera. This is called the wedding. Pop that like that. And just pop it in. And what we'll do, a little bit of this washi tape, tear that. This washi tape is good, but sometimes you just need to put a bit of extra glue on. says wedding oops put it there <laughs> oh come on Sharon more fingers and thumbs all oh, fingers and thumbs right there it is let's just hold that down a second there we go in place now that gives you a little tab to pull it out with once it's secure i'm not sure if i'm gonna have to fold it sort of in in three actually to fit it in so you can write something special and secret and just pop it in there You've got your little tab there for pulling it out. Let's just pop a butterfly on there. Lovely. Shut that down. And let's use some of this. Let's use a love heart. Can use a love heart to tuck that into. Let's have a see. We we'll use one of these larger ones. Let's 
so tough to rip this. Uh, there we could do that. Just take that down a bit. No, I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. So we need to let's have a look. Put the glue around the edge. When my dad passed, I made a memory mirror. So I had all these bits and pieces that my mum was going to throw away. They were like, um, like badges. He'd, he was a traveller, my dad. Well, my mum and dad. And they travelled all, all over. And where, where he used to go, he used to buy little badges, little pin badges and things. So there was all these badges. There was... Um, some jewellery that had belonged to his previous, his ancestors, maybe grandmas, great grandmas, all sort of people. And they were like paste rings and things, but some of them, they were broken. They were, they were not, the nothing but sentimental value. I just put remember on here. Nothing but sentimental value. She, and she was throwing them all away. Because they were my dad's relatives. They weren't really sentimental to her. So she was just about to scrape them all into this bag and throw them away. And I sort of jumped in and went, no, I'll have them. Oh, what are you going to do with them? You know, the rubbish and... We don't need them, and so my mum obviously isn't as sentimental as me. Let's put it on a bit of lace. So, um, there we go, we'll do it that way. So I rescued all these bits, and then I thought, what am I going to do? So I had to look on good old Pinterest. Anyway, I've seen these mirrors that have sort of got jewellery all around them. So I thought, yeah, that's what I could do. I could do that. So that's what I did. I'll need to show you one day. I'll tell you about this mirror, but nobody. Um, not nobody. I keep forgetting. Nobody's reminded me. I suppose maybe that's what I was going to say. But I will show you. Then I did the same one Christmas for my daughters. Um... And my mum, because my mum actually said I absolutely love that mirror. I wish I'd never thrown those things away. Da, 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 da. I wish I wasn't throwing them things away. As it happens, I had quite a bit left. So I made her a memory mirror too. She's got it. Pride of place in a hallway. So anyway, my daughters are made as well. So I've used some of my, I used some of those bits of things from my dad. Uh, one daughter's a nurse, the other's a teacher. So I, I bought some vintage, miniature vintage things relevant to the careers and I put those on the mirrors and, and also the memories that I I made it for them. Right, I'll slot that in there. That looks good. Let's go for another butterfly. This, see, I got from a um, charity shop, 50p. I love having a route through charity shop. Who doesn't? Now, where was that? Was that on there? No, I don't think it was. So here we have got an envelope. So I've got these words here. It says, like, live in the moment. So we'll pop that on. Pop it on there, live in the moment. That's important too, isn't it? I learned that when I had... Well, I say I learned it when I had breast cancer, but I... Which was the... 35. 24, 25 years ago. And we live in the moment. But how soon do we forget things and fall back into the step of... Step of life. Live in the moment. Pop that there. And into there... 
I will pop some stickers. I'll pop some of these pretty stickers in so whoever buys this can because this will go in my creating the mind space shop i'll put a link below pop that in there and i'm going to put some stickers in I'll get some stickers that you can use that's nice there we go that you can use in your book yeah, quickly we sort of unforget things because I don't think I live in the moment as much as I lived in the moment in the period immediately following my breast cancer. I live in the moment. Yeah, here it was because I know because that's there. So what I did here is this is some tracing paper which has been coffee stained. So I am going to, because I like the noise, just for extra dimension, I'm going to pop this there and just bleach my cutter, which is here. Yeah, you can cut it with scissors, but I am um, horrific with scissors. Save your scraps. Uh, let's just get the length. I just always try putting it on, folding it to get the size. I'm not going to tell you the dimensions because obviously your book may be completely different. Yeah, it probably will be. The other thing, you don't actually need to make a book. You can do you buy a book and you can decorate the book. You know, go to the works or somewhere and buy a book. And a, a pretty notebook, decorate it, or a plain notebook and decorate it. There we go. Just run a bead across the top. Put my there's a shiny side. I'm gonna put the shiny side up. Pop that on there. Then I've got these butterflies. This is some butterfly trim I got. And let's just run some glue across. I was watching a crafter and she said like we put our glue on differently. Some of us swirl it on like I just done. Some do lines, some do zigzags. That's all about being individual, isn't it? It's good that we don't all do exactly the same. I'm going to put a little butterfly down there, a little butterfly stamp. Let's have a bit of a butterfly theme going on. Let's just pop that under there. There we go. Just so I have a firm base to lean on. Those are there. So all this lovely paper for you to collage on, write on. There's a little pocket to put something in. And here is another card. And this is from Virginia Berger Creative Studio. She's Virginia, Virginia stamped it there. And I'm just going to make a little pocket. Again, my fabulous uh, measuring method. Let's just bring back the old cutter. Like I say, you don't need a cutter. You can just... Cut it with your scissors. I do swaps with different artists, so that is one off Virgin Virginia Creative Studio. It is always good to sign your work, then people know where it's come from. Right. So let's bring this back. 
and let's just go around it. I'm so glad I just saw, I never saw that yesterday when I was sorting my dangles through, so I'm so glad I just found it. Just around the edge again. Then I've got some butterflies, some more butterflies. Do we put them at the top? Or do we put them at the bottom? Put them at the top. Run the glue. When I need be needing some more of this. I run the glue, put the butterflies on, cut that off, but that leaves me two of those butterflies, I don't let me glue in the book. The thing with this glue is you can while it's wet, it's still just wipe it off, it just bubbles up onto your fingers. I'm just going to Put a bit of ink across the bottom of that. And that will go in there. Whoop, put it the right way up. There we go. Very nice. I'm going to take a butterfly. I'm going to glue these butterflies in. Let's put one on in New Zealand. I'm not screaming yet. There's one. They look pretty, don't they? Just on their own as well. We'll put one later in the book too. Oh, it is, um, it is a bag that actually. So you can put your bits, put, oops. Pop some bits and pieces in there. Must be the other half of uh, the other half of the bag. Yeah, so there we go. Bits and bobs can go in there. I will. Put, I have put things in some of the pockets and envelopes, but not all of them. Some more words in. Put some more words. Let's have a look. Um, oh, the air is full of sunlight. That's nice. Pop that on there. The air is full of sunlight. So here I've already attached this little uh, journaling card. Just put a um, tag, and it's one that you can write on the back. This little piece of lace is to make another little tab. So let's just put some glue. Do you know why I've got one here? Every tech. I don't know why I've got two bottles going at once, but I have. Page tabs are just about prettiness, making the journal pretty. I um, have only put a couple of tabs in because obviously it's up to whoever gets this to do their own tabs where they want them. It's nice. Let's put a little bit of stamping on there. I like 
this stamp as well. This was a pound from a charity shop. We've got hearts, we've got butterfly, we've got flowers. So I don't want the whole stamp. I'm just going to do some of the flowers. I like that one. You just needed that extra hand. And let's just put that on there. There we go. That looks nice. So on here I've put a sticker. Looks really pretty. More journaling spaces and little pockets to store. So here, oh, these are some seeds I got from Macmillan Cancer. Cancer support, let love grow. So they are, um, forget me nots. So I'm going to use this. This is some paper, an off cut. You know, I say keep all your off cuts. And I'm just going to tear that across. You can cut it. I do like the old tearing method. I'm going to edge that white bit. Then pop the glue around. Maybe I should just pour one, one part of this fabric tack into the other part and then that, that might give me a nearly full part. that pop it I'm gonna pop it here actually put that there just hold it and just pop that in there dries relatively quick this so there we go got another little pocket and then here I've put a um, Ace of Hearts vintage playing card. I love that bird. I think it's, it's like a kingfisher on the back. And just a little tag. So just pop those with, again, with a rusty safety pin. There is a pocket there to do whatever you will with. Well, it's tuck, but you can make it a pocket. Something like that could just slip inside it. So I'll just pop those there. Oh, there we go. See, I've already cut that to put on the end of the paper clip. on there you know you just need to have five minutes looking around your house at all your bits and pieces and things in in the drawers and what have you and you'll find you'll find bits and bobs that you can use to decorate your journal so this piece of lace i'm going to put on here just for prettiness sake and you can see it's off a curtain there's part of the curtain there My mum's coming this afternoon and we're doing some work on our um, books, lace books. Looking forward to that. My mum's journal is so beautiful and precise, the lace book, whereas mine is so grungy and different, let's just say. It's amazing how two people can have the same equipment to work with but end up making something so completely different. And that looked pretty on there and lift it up. Right. So don't throw those old curtains away. 
right here. I've got a paper clip. Yep, I've put some blue organza ribbon on this time. And I've put some of those little bits of ephemera. It's vintage style. There's a nice little tag there. A little mixed media tag that I've made. So that and that those and that together just on the edge of the page with the rusted paper clip like that and I'd already tied the blue on let's continue let's put a butterfly another butterfly in fact we put blue butterfly on couldn't we let's do that Supposed to be doing some housework. Husband isn't it to the supermarket. I was supposed to be doing housework. I thought I'd have this video finished before he got on, but obviously I haven't. Just having a look back, checking everything's glued and not stuck together. There we go. Another Space for tucking things in, or you could glue the side, staple the side, sellotape the side. We've got a pocket here. Let me let's have a look. Thinking of earlier days, that's a nice one. Just put that there. Glue. Come off, it's come off my finger. There we go. And in there, I have put so that's just a piece of paper folded in. It's some vintage uh, English dictionary page. So in there are some little bits of ephemera and a tag you can write on the back a mixed media tag pop that in there and some sari silk on and it's long ribbon but i'm just going to leave it because i thought it looked pretty just pop a bit of glue on that because i lifted it off there we go Yeah, I did my mirror and I'm so glad for my memory mirror for my dad because I'm so glad because my mum emptied the house. She was moving, she was downsizing and she emptied the house. And my brother so quickly of my dad's possessions, so quickly. I went, I thought, right, I'm going to get a shirt and I'm going to get a jump and I'm going to make some cushions. No, everything had gone. It was so quick. My mum had said they were going to the house. Did I want to go? And I'd said no. And if it were up to me, it's six years since my, I lost my dad, since my dad passed. And um, the house would still be there. The house would still be there if it was up to me with everything in it, even though my mum had moved. <laughs> oh, dear me. Let's put a stamp on here. Let's use this one. <laughs> put it oh, put it upside down. Oh. Put it at an angle and I put it upside down. So we've got an upside down love heart. I know what I'm going to do because I don't, I don't want to have an upside down love heart. I'm going to stick one of these little things over it. Word that just says love. Yeah, I've got some boxes. My mum said to me, here you go, here's some more of your dad's junk. I mean, don't get me wrong, they've been married over 50 years and my mum misses my dad with all her heart 
but she always called it my dad's junk because my dad just collected everything. He's a bit like me, or I'm a bit like him. So much bits and bobs. I think if I lived on my own, I would probably be a hoarder. stick that there it's a good thing about journaling if you make a mistake you can just and if i stick that over the antenna of the butterfly you just think it was a flower unless of course you've seen this video yeah so she gave me boxes and she said oh here's your dad's junk so some of them boxes are still haven't looked inside some of them i have They're only small boxes like she box size so one of them I was looking through and my dad patented, he invented and patented it. He was a very successful um, electronic engineer and he patented a safety switch that he developed. Oh, that looks nice. And in that box that she just handed over was the original patent. And my brothers were like, hmm. That belongs to us, really, because it's like a boy thing. And I'm like, well, why is a patent a boy thing? No, it isn't a boy thing. Well, we'd really like that, you know, because that's my dad and my dad did that. And and I said, yeah, but he's my dad too. And just because I'm a girl doesn't mean that I can't have a patent. So I've got that. So I thought, ha, you should have looked at things before you just went freely giving them away. Let's have a look. One must have patience, my dear. What I know. Oh, no, 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 no. We're having the time of our lives. A happy place to me. She wanted no reminder of realities and responsibilities. That sounds a bit like me. Happiness is coming home. Together we will sit and rest. Offer to my heart. I'll add that one because it says heart. Getting near the end. Here we've got this envelope. So I'm just going to use this. I'm going to stick this envelope in fully. Put some, I'm going to put some stickers in it actually. I think some bits and pieces. Well, I know what I'll put in. So, yes, so I got the patent, but there was all these other things in as well. And my mum was like, oh, I didn't realise they were in there. So I'm like, well, would you like them back? I didn't let the patent go, but I'm like, would you like them back? And she said, Oh, no, no, you, you you keep them, you keep them. I gave them to you, you keep them. I think, I don't think she wanted me to say, well, you're not having them. But I would have done. I would have given them back to my mum. I would have done. Because that is the sort of person I am. I'm just going to go over this, just to give it all a bit of an aged look so it's not stark white when it's opened and the edge yeah so it'd be nice to see what's in the other boxes but i'll just open them when i'm ready i found cards you know like birthday cards and things that we'd sent in me and my brothers and my children so i did give those back to my brother the ones that my brothers had sent to my dad I gave them, and I made, you know, when they were little boys, and I gave them back to my brothers. It just shows, you know, don't rush, don't, don't be too quick to get rid of things. Just box it and take your time and do it as you're ready. Right, so it's going to be like that, so I'll put that there. So last night I was at church, I'm a spiritual healer, and... We've got five trainees. So two spiritual healers and five trainees. So 
the other spiritual healer who's the healing lead wasn't in church last night she to do some training on trance healing which i've already done i'm a trance healer as well and um she wasn't there last night so i was in charge me and all my um trainees it was good really enjoyed working with them all but this lady came in and she was uh she been she'd had healing before and been in a um, spiritual church before. Well, all churches are spiritual, aren't they? But I mean, um, a church of for spiritualists, and she came in and she was sat waiting. She was the last lady, in actually, and she was sat waiting. And I, I am. Um, I think I was supposed to have stuck that on there, but never mind. Looks nice there. So I have been sort of training as a medium as well, but I I don't really do that even though I should. So we're having the time of our lives. She was free to follow her heart. No. This heart of mine. So she, there was about 11, 12, 12 patients waiting for healing. And I was sat watching her and I had sensing sort of spirit activity around her. And in my ear was whispered. I think that's too small. In my ear was whispered. Um... You know, I saw somebody was behind me and it just went, Catherine. And I thought, what's that? Anyway, I'm watching this lady and I'm in, sort of seeing, like, spirit behind her. This orb, not actually physical, um, not a manifestation. And I'm watching and watching. And then... Yeah, there it went again, Catherine, in my ear. Thoughts that was whispered to my heart, that's nice. So she went in for her healing with the heat into the sanct we have a sanctuary room. She went in and when she came out, I was talking to her and she was talking to me. She said, oh, when I was in, she said, I got so many messages myself because she was a very spiritual lady she said i was listening and she said i've lost three little girls she said and so i had these babies with me and they were she said and i feel comforted that they're you know with jesus are in heaven and and then i said to her do you mind me asking i said um who Catherine is I said I've just been hearing this voice Catherine whispered in my ear anyway she said that she was one of 11 babies herself she was number nine but the other two passed and one of the two that passed as babies one of them was a little girl called Catherine a baby girl so I was like wow I was a bit taken aback coincidence or not what do you think so Catherine um, came to make a presence known and it just tied in with the fact that the lady said she had been um, um, felt that her, her baby daughters were around her that night. So I thought not only were your baby daughters around you but your baby sister as well. Spiritualism has, I am a Christian, but spiritualism has helped me so much with bereavement in that um, I'm just cutting these out to put in the pocket, these that I've printed on this paper. That one, this one, I'm just 
just says love. It's helped me so much to know that, I mean, it tells you in your Bible, you, you, you never die, doesn't it? That you, you, you just continue. And that to me is so very, very important. So I'm going to just fold them in half. I'm going to put them in the envelope there. So you can use that as storage and then there's some little bits and bobs there that you can use to decorate. I feel like I've um, done a complete journal flip through as well as showing you how to decorate it. And I think that's it. There's a sticker there. And there, handmade with Love by Be Divine Vintage. So I'm not trying to force my religion and my beliefs on you. I'm just, um, I mean, it is creating the mind space and that includes my own mind space. Because we all have mind space, don't we? So thank you so much for watching. I'll put the links below. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next on this channel, but it'd be something creative. Look at that little journal, doesn't it look fab? And once you start and stick the bits and pieces in, can you see how it starts to get wider and wider? I'll probably put, well, I will put some ribbon around it. Just to find somewhere. Let's do that. So I'll put a link below too on how to purchase this journal. If you want to use it to record your thoughts and feelings too. So remember you can use it as in I love you because and use it as an affirmation book. You can use it to fill with all sorts of things to give to somebody as to why you love them. And it could be used as a memory book for why uh, for all the lovely memories and bits of ephemera and things that you've collected along the way as to why you've loved somebody, somebody that might have gone out of your life. So thank you for watching. I'm Sharon, this is Creating the Mind Space and I will see you again soon. Thank you.